All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're obviously joined by Arkansas head coach Brett Bielema. Um, we have limited time with coach. We're going to jump right into questions uh, right here. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any mics yet, so just speak as loud as possible, and I'll try to repeat it. Hey, Go. Yeah, you know, um, first during the recruiting process, I had actually met David when I was at Wisconsin. He came on a visit there. I uh, had a chance to be around him, know him. When I came to Arkansas, kind of began to dabble a little bit towards him, but I was uh, recruiting LT Ten Penny in state, Alex Collins. I knew he had a great chance at, so I really didn't go at him full throttle, but I knew he signed in the league, went to South Carolina. And then really after Raleigh's situation, um, I knew he was a grad transfer, didn't know exactly what we're gonna do in the SEC here, so uh, kind of reached out, and then really from that point forward, just kind of rekindled a relationship with him. Very mature, very, very talented. Um, I knew a couple coaches on, on Spurrier's staff uh, that, that had recruited David, so I reached out to them just to kind of see what was going on. Uh, I'll give South Carolina, Coach Muschamp, a lot of credit. They, they let the kid, they didn't, you know, try to block him, so they truly uh, assisted in every way. And then for the kid in his situation, I say kid, he's a grown adult with a graduate degree or with a master, uh, undergrad degree. Uh, he's been a big hit on campus. He got in here, started summer school, uh, made a great influence. Actually, he's spent more time with Kay Rich, my defensive player that's here, just because he hosted him when he was on his visit a little bit, but Austin and Frank, I know I've been very impressed with him as well. I have not, by NCAA rules, had a lot of time with him. Um, so uh, just very excited to have him in our program. Back row on the left, please state your name and affiliation. Uh, Justin Thomas with uh, WBIC Fox 6. Coach, I have a two-part question. Okay. Uh, can you talk about Coach Bob Elliott and what he did in your career, and also your defensive coordinator? Yeah. With Paul, okay. Yeah, Bobby Elliott, uh, kind of a unique story. Um, well, when I went to the University of Iowa, I was a walk-on freshman. He was on staff there and, and uh, uh, was a guy that I kind of looked up to as a player. Just, I didn't ever, believe me, I never backpedaled or played DB in my life. Uh, but Bobby was just one of those kind of infectious guys. Um, and then when I took over as a graduate assistant, he was on staff uh, as an assistant as well. And then he became the defensive coordinator. And one of the things that uh, he did for me in my career is when he became a defensive coordinator, he talked Coach Fry into promoting me from a graduate assistant to full-time linebacker coach. Uh, so I worked with Bobby um, closely uh, in that relationship. And then um, I remember to this day, we would always go jogging um, back in the day. Um, we always had a noon tradition where we would take off running and uh, we were going into fall camp into our third year. And, and um, I went to go get E and, and uh, he said, hey, I'm gonna pass today, not feeling well. Um, and the next day I came down the locker room and he was already down there and he wasn't gonna run again and I knew something was beginning to happen and then a week later he shared with me that he had been diagnosed with a, the first wave of, of health conditions, which was a blood disorder, I believe, at the time. Um, that year went on, he battled through a lot. Uh, obviously when the season was done, Coach Fry resigned. Uh, Bobby went into a, a, a chemotherapy uh, treatment that um, was very hard um, and didn't know where he was gonna ever come back. He battled back from that. Uh, became a, a candidate to become the defensive coordinator at Kansas State. I was now the linebacker coach at Iowa under Hayden or under Kirk Ferentz, and he came to me and said, Coach uh, Snyder would take the both of us as a defense coordinator and co-defensive coordinator. So I went uh, to the Kansas State, left Iowa, which was a hard thing to do, but went with Bobby. And that first year, we led the nation in defense, and and it was I was the co-defense coordinator, and Bobby was the coordinator, and just um, uh, tremendous. Uh, coaching experience for me, which led to my opportunities at Wisconsin. And then he kind of battled back and forth throughout his career, um, a guy that I uh, continue to stay close with and, and um, was so excited for him in the spring to get back on the field. I talked with him a lot. We just signed a crossover contract with Notre Dame and those originally started when Bobby and I started talking. And, um, and then obviously we all know what happened uh, in the last 24 hours. Um, got a wonderful wife, he's got two beautiful kids, it's actually his daughter. Jess is actually living in Fayetteville, so it's kind of a neat crossover thing, but um, a tremendous person. Um, great influence in my life. Um, and then uh, Paul Rhodes, uh, my de defense coordinator, he actually is a guy that kind of along those same lines when Bobby and I were at Iowa, Paul was at Iowa State, so we competed against him quite a bit. I got a tremendous reputation or a tremendous respect for his uh, ability there at Iowa State. He went on to become defense coordinator at Pitt, Auburn, head coach at Iowa State. When he was a head coach at Iowa State is when I really began to get to know him really well. A couple of cross